All right, so today I want to talk about why I sound so posh. <laughs> um, so I get told a lot that I sound posh, especially by younger people, like uh, sort of late teens, 20s, that kind of age. A lot of those guys tell me that I sound posh. Um, in fact, I get told that I sound posh or I sound American. Um, posh definitely by most of younger people. And I think people uh, maybe at my age or older, uh, some of them say, tell me I sound American. Now, the American thing, I think I could explain pretty easily. Um, I don't sound posh or American. To my ears, I don't sound either posh or American. But I think I understand why people say that. Now, um, and that's what I want to talk about in this video. So with the American thing, um, I mean, I grew up watching American TV and listening to American music. And for better or worse, American culture has had its influences on the rest of the world. Um, and I think because of that, I do sometimes say things that are more Americanized than uh, British, you know, more American English than British English. Um, like, for example, I know that I say uh, uh, elevator instead of lift. Um, or I say, I might say bathroom instead of toilet, especially if I don't know you, I'm probably going to say bathroom, um, rather than toilet. Um, and that ties into the posh thing as well, but I'll come back to that in a moment. Um, but yeah, I know there's a few things that I say that are a bit more American English than British English, be, uh, you know, because of that, that influence. And there's probably some other things that I say that maybe I'm not so aware of, but I think because of that, some people think, you know, that, that I'm, that I'm, that I'm American or, 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 you know, I sound American and, you know, maybe they're hearing that and, and associate that with the, you know, the American English and think, oh, are you American? It's like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> um, but I think, I think that's why people think I sound American or think people think that I'm American. I'm not, I'm not American. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, because of that. Now the posh thing, I believe I know why people think I sound posh as well. And that's a bit more of a longer explanation. So let me get into that now. Um, so yeah, I grew up, you know, talking like how anybody talks, you know, I'd, I'd use, you know, slang and, and lots of swear words and stuff like that. Right. Um, and you know, that, that's fine. Just how you talk, say you talk to everybody around you talk. So you just talk how you talk. Right. And that's pretty much me up until say primary school throughout secondary school um and then maybe up until leaving secondary school um because when i left secondary school i mean i was working before i left secondary school at secondary school actually i, I started working at 16 actually technically no let me rephrase that. i started working at 16 you leave secondary school at 16 but then you go into sixth form college but my sixth form was at the same secondary school um as as that i went to so it felt like secondary school just up and you get what I mean. If you if you went to sixth form in the same school that you went to uh, secondary school in, you know what I mean. But technically, you leave school at sixteen and then you start sixth form, um, and that, that's that's what I did. Um, or some people go off to different colleges and stuff like that. But you leave school at sixteen, and I started working at sixteen. Um, but yeah, so that period, you know, I'm still in secondary school, call it sixth form, but you know, in the same secondary school. So I'm still around a lot of the same people that I've been hang out, hanging out with for the last. What was it six, seven years, or however long it's been? So he's still talking a lot of the same ways, right? And so we're leaving that and then going into university and then, you know, working in different places. Um, you, you, you kind of realize that you can't use a lot of the slangs <laughs> that, that you, uh, uh, come up with because you got different, you got people from different parts of the country at this point, especially in uni. You got people from different parts of the country. You've got people from different parts of the world. So you, you can't really use a lot of the uh, slangs you grew up with because they don't understand you, right? Um, and you do kind of develop your own kind of slang and stuff like that. And of course, other, other f things that you use that are a bit more localized to that. But you, you can't use a lot of the stuff you grow up with. So that pretty much goes out the window and you adopt maybe a little bit of a more standard way of speaking until you kind of develop your own kind of personal way of speaking. So that, that's what happened there. Um, but in particular with, with work. Um, so I worked in, well, I mean, my first job was in McDonald's when I was like 16 or something like that. Um, yeah, 16. And, you know, you're around a lot of kids about your age when you wake up at dolls. So there's, there's no thing there. Plus, I was mostly in the back. They, 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 never, they never put me on the uh, checkouts in McDonald's. So I never did customer face and stuff there. Um, so I was mostly in the back with the other, uh, with the other delinquents. <laughs> it's just like stealing burgers. <laughs> don't, don't steal burgers. It's not, it's not good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you're still kind of talking 
just however you talk, right? And especially like, you know, people from same areas as you, even if they don't grow up in the same place as you, they grow up in similar areas. So you're still using a lot of the same slangs and stuff like that. Um, so that kind of, kind of continued there. But with work specifically, I would say when I started working in call centers. So most of my working life has been in call centers between customer services and sales. I think mostly customer services, but definitely quite a significant part was sales. Um, but especially doing that, I think between that and uni is where a lot of this comes in because like I say, you can't really speak in the same way you used to speak. Um, and then of course uni ends and then, you know, you d adopt your own way of speaking. Uni ends, you kind of go off and you just, it's just work life now. Um, and then you really can't, go back to even even your uni say you can't even really use there because again people in different parts of the country different parts of the world and especially when i start doing call center work you're speaking to a lot of different people from different parts of the country like all the time so you never really have that time to develop your own slangs because you have to kind of adopt you know a very standard way of speaking and not only that because i was working mostly in insurance when i did customer services they're very big on things like compliance where there's very specific things that you have to say and very specific things that you have to avoid um, saying and, you know, things like that. So you, you very much adopt this very kind of strict standard way of speaking. And I did that for a long time. Um, and I think that that develops my telephone voice, uh, so to speak. And if you um, if you know what I mean by telephone voice, I don't necessarily mean people who work in call centers. I mean, people who work in call centers definitely have telephone voices, but it's not just people who work in call centers. Um, if you've ever like, you know, like, like your mom, you know, when she picks up the phone and just sounds different, telephone voice, you know, like, cause your mom might be shouting at you. <laughs> you get your ass upstairs, whatever, right? Picks up the phone. Hello. Good evening. This is Mrs. Johnson. You know, that, that's a telephone voice. <laughs> And you very much develop that work in the call center, not just call centers, but in a call center, it, it gets honed. Your telephone voice gets honed, right? Um, so, uh, yeah, that, that happens. And even though I don't work in call centers more, in fact, I haven't worked in a call center for, I think, more than five years now at this point. I do feel like because it was such a long part of my life, it comes out, um, when, when I maybe don't expect it to sometimes. And I think especially if I'm speaking to somebody that I don't know. And that's what I do now. I'm speaking to a lot of people that I don't know. I drive a cab now. So I'll pick somebody up, uh, you know, a 19 year old, a 20 year old. And I'm, and I'm saying, you know, good morning and how are you and things like that in my very standard telephone voice. Um, and even though it's not posh, I think for a lot of people, especially younger people, you, where you're not necessarily used to hearing people speak like that, it might sound like, you know, somebody who's a bit upper, you know, <laughs> and that's, that's not, that's not me. Um, but yeah, if you, if you know me, you know, if you, uh, if you, if you get to know me, you know, but you know, you know, that's not that, you know, that's not how I talk. <laughs> Only that's how I talk. But I do feel like there, there's, there's, there's a balance that I guess I'm always trying to strike between. I recognize there is a need for a standard way of speaking, especially when talking to somebody that you don't know, because they might not necessarily understand some of the things that, you, you might say colloquially, colloquially. <laughs> um, but at the same time, it's not really who I am. It's not how I grew up. It's not how I necessarily want to be. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate talking like that or anything like that, but it's not necessarily how I feel most feel comfortable speaking. Um, but at the same time, it is a necessary thing. And I guess that's for me, it's always that balance between trying to, you know, speak in a way that people could understand me but they're not necessarily sound a bit too much. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and I guess I don't always get that balance right. I guess I don't always get that balance right. So people be like, oh, I, I thought you were posh. Because it'd be like somebody, I'd be speaking to somebody, like, I don't know, like a 20 year old or something like that. And we'd be just talking. And then I guess as the conversation goes on, I might, like, you know, you get a bit more comfortable. You know, you get a bit more of how they speak and you know how and you could kind of ease into a bit more things and and yeah they kind of say something and then it'd be like 10 15 minutes into the conversation they'd be like raw i thought he was one of them posh guys <laughs> <laughs> the way the way, way man's was speaking when i got the car i thought he was one of them posh i thought he was one of them posh guys like no nah, that's not me but i get it i get it i think i know i think i know why some posh. in fact that's just in the shop right now um i i went to the shop i, I wanted to get uh, uh coolant for the car and 
you know, I walk up to the account and I said, um, um, uh, may I buy some coolant, please? I, I, and I was like, I was, the moment I said it, I was like, yeah, I know why people say I sound posh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this, this is why people tell me I sound posh. I, 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 I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm, I, I'm not a posh fella. Um, I, I grew up in the ends. Um, and I, <laughs> I grew up in the ends. <laughs> I can't even pull it off no more. Can't even pull it off no more. What's going on? I grew up in the ends. <laughs> I'm from North Wheezy. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm not a posh guy. It's just, uh, I guess, various influences. Um, and, you know, the fact that I worked in call centres for so long. And, of course, you, know, you speak to somebody you don't know. And you can't try to adopt. And it doesn't always come out the way you want it to. But it is what it is. It is what it is. But anyway. Peace. <laughs>